I effing love living in Phuket, Thailand. <laughs> Phuket, Thailand. I effing love it. Uh, new rule, you can't swear in the first eight seconds on YouTube. Yeah, in this video, I'm gonna show you, try to show you, why I love living in Thailand, Phuket. And why? I'll show you, hey? Why? Wait, you're gonna find <laughs> out. You need more of the video. And I'll try, I'll show you some of the things I don't love about living here. You know, it can't all be sunsets and sandy beaches. Can it, Mabel? No. Yesterday, what, what did we do? Yeah, oh yeah. And yesterday, we celebrated with some Guinness. Yeah. What three, were we celebrating? Three years living in Thailand. Three years. I've been here three years. 19th of March 2020, I landed here. Still here. And for all the people who wrote, you'll be home soon. You won't last a year, two years. I think you should man up, grow a set of balls, and write in the comment section below, I was wrong. <laughs> Anyway, let's show you what I love about living here in Thailand. So, not only Richie that celebrate his three years living in Thailand, yeah. it's gonna be me as well. In Phuket. I in Phuket. <laughs> in Phuket, three years. Three years. You was living in PP before that, weren't you? Yeah. And okay. how do you like living in Phuket? It's awesome. <laughs> People, beach, nature, food, everything. Don't spoil the video. Right. So you tell them. Okay, so I'll start with one, but this is in no particular order. We're going to give you many different things about this beautiful place. So yeah. one of them is... People. The people. The people, the culture. Uh, Buddhism is, is the faith here. Yeah. And I believe, you know, the people are so friendly, so nice. Uh, they call it the land of smiles. And what example could I give? Like, like now, we're walking around here, many people training around here walking yeah, yeah. and in the three years we've been making these videos not once has anyone moaned at us about having this camera eh? no you know I've walked into places and sometimes they're smiling they were like okay yeah welcome you in film video now i know for a fact back in the uk if i was doing this some people would kick off i think pretty quickly a lot of it oh what are you doing who are you video you know what i mean <laughs> just ready for an argument ready for a fight was here everyone's more relaxed they're more chilled they're yeah definitely the people make it a beautiful place yeah all right yes the land of smiles after living here for three years i come to the conclusion the reason people are so happy friendly and kind here is due to their ancient religion buddhism practiced here by around 95 percent of the population it's a very peaceful religion, very spiritual. They practice meditation, they believe in the afterlife and deeply in karma. If you do bad in this life, it'll carry over into the next. I love to see the Thai monks still walking the streets every morning offering blessings. Every practicing Thai man that becomes a monk has to give up all of his possessions and shave his hair and eyebrows. Must be a very humbling experience. Let's not forget you have all these Buddhist temples and statues throughout Thailand. Some are absolutely amazing like this one at the top of a mountain. How they built this I will never know. They have some amazing temples here, some amazing statues and Buddhism I believe yeah, is a big reason why this is such a nice place to visit and a nice place to live. Okay, so another thing I love about living in Phuket, Thailand is the pure natural beauty of this place from the white sandy beaches beautiful blue turquoise seas there's so many beaches here there's also the lush green mountains jungle uh, rainforest type of terrain it's just a beautiful island it's big you know you don't feel like you're living on an island there's so many areas to visit drive around and just take in the natural beauty mother nature at its finest here in Phuket, Thailand that's another reason I love living here okay the best way to show you is from the sky just look how beautiful this place is Kata Beach that's my area 
so many beautiful areas of Phuket. Patong Beach, very famous, very popular. And then you have more secluded beach like here, Freedom Beach. Phuket, such a beautiful island. If you're feeling adventurous and want to explore some more, just hop on a speedboat and head on over to the famous PP Island. Look how beautiful this place is. In this environment brings an abundance of wildlife. I still love to see the nature around. I will get one of these eagles on camera one day. Be careful of the monkeys, they will try to take stuff from you. And then I love to try and get up early every day and listen to this island coming to life. leading nicely into the next category of what I love is obviously the weather we all love the weather and yeah it's pretty constant here in Phuket in Thailand you know it's hot yeah we all love that bit of Sun I'm sweating here now this is Kata Beach I just had a jog around Kata Beach one of my favorite beaches here if you didn't know yeah we all love the weather and you know, it can get a bit overbearing. We're now in April, the end of April, and it has been really hot. I mean, wow, I, I forgot how hot this place can get. But, you know, generally throughout the year, all year is a nice, hot, sunny weather. You get the grey days, cooler, which you actually welcome when you live here, and you get the rain season which last year wasn't so long, mostly a month and a half of heavy rain, the rest patches. So yeah, we all love the weather. And another reason I love the weather in particular, someone mentioned it in one of my videos, they commented, hey Richie, you're walking normal. Before, I had a little limp like this. <laughs> if you have a look at my first video in London, I had a very obvious limp. And they said, what have you done to get rid of it? And the answer is, nothing. The heat has cured my knee. In the, in the UK, my knee would get worse every winter. It would start seizing up, locking up. And yeah, so the heat is obviously good for your body. And the cold obviously <laughs> gets into all the aches and pains of things. So yeah, we all love the weather in Phuket, Thailand. <laughs> That's right, you will see some of the most beautiful sunsets and some of the best sunrises maybe if you get up early enough. Early enough is 6 a.m. and sunsets around 6 to 7 p.m. and that's a constant time throughout the year which I also believe is very beneficial in life. Just a word of warning though guys, for you sun worshippers, don't forget, pack that sun lotion because it will happen, you will get burnt. And then in a blink of an eye you can have a torrential downpour and this place can turn into a river. Yeah, it's not all sunny days guys, but mostly throughout the year it is. So if you haven't seen our videos before, this is our business, Maybell's Coffee Garden. And yeah, we'll talk a bit more about what we like, what we love, what we don't like about living here. Uh, a bit more personal to us, because obviously I've been living here three years, like I said, and we've had this business two years. So yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Let's do a little update. I would have done more through the week, but the reality is Maybell is now a cook in the kitchen because we are down to one cook. UFC time today, Adesanya rematch, let's go and say hello to the cook. Images and scenes of violence, that's what we need to make videos of, that gets the views. Where's Maybell? Ah, there's Maybell. Good morning. Chicken bread. <laughs> She's now the new cook, we're looking for a cook, anyone know a cook, send them our way. 
It's bloody hot here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, we're going to uh, summarise what we love and what we don't love about living in Phuket, Thailand. Uh, I'd love to go out and film more and show you more, but yeah, we've got a business to run here as well, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, I took little notes I've written down here. Was like, when I've been thinking about this in my head, it's kind of hard to show you. It's, it's a feeling, I love the feeling living here, feeling of freedom, uh, it's just a good vibe. Lifestyle. Lifestyle, it's a good vibe. Um, obviously I've shown it's a beautiful place and living on a tropical island, it has good infrastructure. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's just, I, I, I like Phuket, Thailand. I like Phuket, yeah, this is where, after traveling all around Thailand and Asia, this is where I wanted to live. So yeah, I love living here. Uh, bad things. I was trying to think about bad things. And this is what <laughs> I wrote down. Hey look, also like uh, some of the madness and chaos is kind of what we love as well, I think. You know, in Bangkok, the cable's hanging from everywhere, yeah, but it's yeah. kind of, that's what gives it its feeling. For uh, me, I, I, got, I got used to it already, seeing the cable like that. But not you. Not me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, where Maybell's from, dogs, there's so many dogs just roaming free in the streets. Here there's quite a lot of dogs, but not so many as, as there. Uh, I put down what I don't like, as in the roads. The roads are pretty dangerous. Taxi driver, you mean? Taxi driver, yeah, the worst people are the minibus drivers here in Phuket. They yeah. drive like maniacs and very fast. If they're, if they're on a job, it means they believe they have the right of way, I think. Yeah. And, and drive up your arse end, flashing they moon. Want, they just want to stop where, where yeah, they yeah. want to stop. And another time, they, if they haven't got a job, they'll just drive, they'll just slow, drive slow, really holding up the road and maybe on the phone. Yeah. But that's one thing. Uh, I put down also bureaucracy, like they love paperwork here. But oh, then yeah. also it works in your favour sometimes, so, you know, like a visa, if you fail one time, you could reapply and get it. Whereas like in the UK, if you fail, you're pretty much screwed. But it's here, there's, there's other ways. So, but when we took the, when we did the visa recently, we had to take pictures inside the house, yeah. outside the house, yeah. in the bedroom. Uh, Half body, full body. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the number of the house had to be behind <laughs> us. Draw a map, draw a map. We printed one off from Google Maps. No, it has to be drawn by hand these kind of things but hey you know you're, if you're gonna live here you have to yeah forget about your western ways and that's kind of what I wanted to escape everything is so correct and system is so everything in place whereas here I like the freedom the madness the kind of yeah you can do a bit more you know <laughs> drive around with no helmet and you know in the UK if you drive around with no helmet people would be like what the hell are they doing <laughs> you know yeah, that's kind of what the draw for me was the was the madness. And also, I have put on my list... Sorry, I'm not letting you get a word in, am I? No, it's okay. <laughs> I put on my list women, but I mean woman. My woman. I, I met Maybelle in 2018, mar you know, married in 2020, and yeah, without Maybelle, all this business, everything we're doing, life here wouldn't be as good, you know, we're like 24-7. She's solid as a rock. Got me 100%. Don't worry, I won't make you cry. Yeah. I would love to make, you know, the, the, the video we started, I was doing all this fancy editing. I would love to carry it on, but we're just too busy, aren't we? One other thing I don't like about living here. Mosquito. Mosquitoes. They don't bite me anymore. They used to when I come on holiday, but now, I'm, no but they're just a pain in the arse. They're just landing on you, and when we put our laundry out, there's hundreds on, on the washing. Why? What's wrong with these bloody little things? And if we open in the evening, around sunset, mosquitoes come out and piss everyone off. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, what happened when you live near the jungle? Yeah, yeah. So there again. Another thing, <laughs> communication. Setting this up, communicating with people. 
was an absolute nightmare, but that's kind of my own fault because, hey, I should learn Thai, shouldn't I? Hey, it's up to me to go out and, and learn more Thai. So yeah. That's but, okay, you but, need to learn so much Thai. Why? <laughs> she don't want me to. But uh, yeah, at times it's very frustrating. Especially running a business and not being able to speak to your staff correctly. But that's what May Bell's doing. <laughs> Translator in the kitchen. Okay, so I'll shut up now. Can't stop when I get going. You go. What do you love? What do you love or hate about Phuket? I love the beach. Not gonna lie. And we never swim in the beach. No, it's yeah, yeah. The sea. No, we never go swimming. Yeah, it's just so much to see here. Just like it. Compared to Karat. Compared to where I'm come from, it's just hey, completely babe. different. Yeah. There is like just mountain darkness. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Maybell is from Karat, Isan. Now oh, this is and so many places to go, like restaurant with a nice view. Yeah. Yeah. That, that where you're from is Thailand. Phuket Thai is not really, you know, proper Thailand. It's it's its own little place, island. The infrastructure is very good. You don't feel like you're on an island because it's, you know, it's, it's a big place. It's a big place. Um, I was going to say something else then, but oh yeah, cost of living. It's more expensive. It's probably one of the most expensive areas in Thailand, but that's for a reason. Yeah. It's a tourist hotspot. It's in high demand five months of the year in very high demand. So yeah, that's why it's more expensive. But uh, any tourist hotspot in the world is expensive, but that's kind of why I wanted to live here. That's why I wanted to do business here. So yeah, that's it, I think. Did we, did we get everything? Yes. It's Sunday and I have to now finish editing this video because I want to get it out today. Adesanya just knocked out that dude in the second round awesome who was watching all that here so yeah let's wrap it up thanks for watching take care bye bye stay safe see you in, see the, you next in the next one I don't know but what <laughs> <laughs> well, don't know when <laughs> when's maybell gonna make a video <laughs> hey? low, season. low season's coming low season's coming maybell's channel's coming back see you in may may okay bye thanks for watching bye bye Okay. <laughs>